<laughs> Hi, Hi Floss Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And, and we, we are, are the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. We missed you guys last week. Yes, but we had a wonderful time. It we did. So we did. We were at a retreat and we had just a lovely time with the ladies. So it was really great. Um, we wanted to do some shout outs and answer your questions. I got some time this week to watch several different people. And um, a few of them that I saw uh, that shouted us out that I want we wanted to say thank you for were Crafty Cat Stitcher, Bendy Stitcher, Homesteading on the Home Front, Gulf Coast Stitcher, um, also Kay's Stitching. Oh, um, nice. Shouted us out. There were some really nice ones. And I have to show you proof that we just feel so loved in this community. Can you read that? It says, Bendy Stitchy Michelle Garrett loves you. <laughs> so we thought that was Thank wonderful. You. <laughs> <laughs> and we know that it really pops up and says something else but it's okay yeah. it says that she loves us <laughs> it's perfect so then we've had a, it's been a couple of weeks i feel like we're a little i know out even of practice though, even though we um <clears throat> recorded last week i feel like it's been a long time since we've been here mm -hmm. so. so we have uh questions and comments from the past two weeks um, the first one is from Nancy Dubin and from Sharon Littlefield. They both want to know about your fabric rack. Well, I don't know if you can really find one exactly like mine again. <laughs> because Laura and I found this in the trash. Um, we were out gallivanting around somewhere. And um, we saw a guy emptying out the uh, a house he was he rents out and he was carrying this piece out and we're driving along down the road and Laura's driving and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I think, you know, I think I could use that piece back there. She stops and oh. back we go. Sorry Don't clap, that. that makes people's eardrums <laughs> pop. <laughs> well, I made mine ring too. <laughs> mine are going woo woo. <laughs> How many of you have noticed that that when <laughs> when your floss tubers clap their hands, I listen with an earbud in and I just go, oh my goodness. So, anyway, sorry. But that's okay. But anyway, we picked it up from this man and I brought it home. We, it's heavy. Yes. We struggled trying to get it in here. Leaned it on the wall. It has moved since. <laughs> but I love it because you can see all of the different mm -hmm. fabrics all at once. So, but you can use a... Um, Baby crib, the side of the baby crib. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a bunk bed. Yeah, it's a twin bunk. So Nancy has also, you can kind of see right there. Right there. There's my pointing <laughs> skill. That bookcase was left out on the curb. And I was coming to Nancy's house and she said, my neighbor left this out and I really want it. And I don't think I can get it. And so we, I, I came like and got her, haul. and we went up around the corner and grabbed that. And, and it was it heavy, too. Yes, yes. The two of us trying to haul things in <laughs> is a comical thing. So the, cat, the cats just sit back and look like, what yes. are you doing? <laughs> uh, next we have, I don't know if it's Davina or Divina. I'm going to say Davina. Davina Bartlett, she said she would love to do a retreat, but they're not common in the UK and usually too far away from where she lives. Well, I'm very sorry. Yes. Um, you can keep up with us and make plans to travel here next year at the end of February. Yeah. We'll be hosting another one. So. That's right. And I do know um, Mr. X Cross Stitcher, I think that's what his name is on here. Um, was talking about a show somewhere in the London area. So oh. you might go on and check him out and see. Um, he's very active with groups in the area, and maybe he'll have some ideas for you. Or we're going to do a cross-stitch cruise. Oh, yes, in five years, 2023. woo -hoo! So We'll have details when we come up with that. for you. Yeah. Okay. Golf cross stitch, golf, golf coast. coast stitcher. Do you stitch a hand? Yeah. 
I just roll that right up and stitch along. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I am definitely an in-hand stitcher, and we both roll. We don't clip or anything. A lot no. of people use clips to hold it closed, but no. And Julie, your videos were lovely. Um, you talked about how much noise there was on your porch, but I loved hearing all of the nature sounds yeah, that oh came gosh, with yeah. it. She is. She turned her camera, and she is right on the beach. Oh wow! It was beautiful. So, oh, goodness. really great. Um, D. Hansen grew up in the Kansas City area and lives in Winsville, closer to St. Louis. I know that. Um, you ask where the Victorian sampler shop is. Nancy doesn't actually have a shop. Nancy Turner does oh, not actually have a, yes. She has an online shop um, that we know about on eBay. eBay. Um, if you look her up, though, you can buy directly from her. And that um, she's got a blog too. And yes, it's on her she blog. does. So, and you, if you go to the eBay store, I think you can link to the blog and get there. Yeah. But buy from her directly because it'll be easier for both of you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Arlene, oh my gosh, we were so oh, sorry to yes. hear that you broke your wrist, and so you aren't going to be able to stitch. I have a friend in Australia, whose name is Mel. Hi, Mel Hicks. And um, she, a few years back, was unable to stitch because of a medical condition. And she just knew she needed to be in her stash. So she started every day pulling a project from her stash, and she blogged about it. Now, I'm not saying you have to do it every day because, believe me, I started doing that last year <laughs> and I was faithful to it until yes. my computer died. And then I haven't gotten back into it. And then you were like, Whew. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, yeah. But it, um, I mean, it was nice. We got to see these things and she reminisced about where where she got them, if somebody gave her a gift, if she, you know, what kind of... Um, things she had in them and some things she decided she would never be interested in stitching and so she gave them away oh. so then she she was spreading that that's stitchy nice. kindness that's nice and I didn't see Mel's but I saw yours and I really liked it because I got to see her stash, <laughs> what she was doing only part of my stash well, yeah. yeah um Julie McConnell mm. this one is for you oh okay Julie was watching our video, and she said, Imagine my surprise when I was watching, and up pops a picture of my little sheep virtues. I didn't know it was posted on the Little House website, so glad you enjoyed the layout. So this is what we're talking about. I can't see if I'm Here up there again. So it has sheep in the meadow, meadow in the center, and then all the little sheep virtues around it. And it's just a, a design that I fell in love with, and that's what I'm working on. So mm -hmm. I'm glad to know it was yours, Julie, and thanks <laughs> for sharing it. And you've changed your colors just a little, yeah, right? Yeah, to go with my fabric better. Julie wow. also said that she liked my Rosewood Manor piece. Thank you very much. And she asked if we had seen the design coming out at market called Leeds House Sampler. And we did look that up, and that was a really Beautiful. pretty piece. Mm -hmm. So... Um, a lot of you ask, <laughs> what is Tula? <laughs> tula, Tula, Tula. <laughs> uh, we looked up a definition for you because I know what I think it is, but it says Tula 10 count fabric is made of 60% rayon and 40% cotton. The holes in Tula fabric are prominent. It is a soft, unique fabric. It comes in some lovely colors. Um, I think the ones that I showed, um... A couple of them were from Picture This Plus. They're the Colorscapes fabric. And I know Marilyn was phasing those out. So I don't know if she has any more left in the shop or not. However, this week on Silk Weaver's weekly giveaway, or not giveaways, auction, auctions, mm -hmm. um, they had two or three pieces of Tula. And it was very mm -hmm. pretty colors. So, and I think there were tens. I think there were ten counts. Mm -hmm. um, so you might look on there. And, uh, you know, I started having my daughter use the 10 count Tula and she used Lizzie Kate patterns, especially um, Halloween patterns. And she liked it because the holes were so big, but the fabric was so soft yeah. and really pretty. 
And I think I showed in one of our videos here not very long ago that I have a piece that is on 10 count Tula mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I stitch on 40 count, so... Um, Quite sometimes a departure. It is. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, ooh, when I'm doing that 10 count. But it's it's a nice break on the well, eyes sometimes. And I think, you know, because my daughter-in-law saw me doing this and that I enjoyed it, she tried to, to cross-stitch too. Mm -hmm. But she started on something that was really a little more difficult than a beginner should and got discouraged. So mm -hmm. I think if we get her a piece of Tula and a Lizzie Cade, you know, and help her get started again, she'll see that that got finished and, you know. And it's pretty enjoy and it she more. can see it. And... Yeah, and then she'll like it and be able mm -hmm. to advance on to those other projects. Because my daughter has moved on and she doesn't stitch so much right now. But she stitches on 40 count fabric, so... I'll never make it there. <laughs> <laughs> well, her eyes are much younger. Yes, than her, so. yes, yes. Uh, Patricia Ferry wanted <clears throat> to know the difference between petite and regular needles. Well, it's uh, all about the gonna... size. Here, let's just... Can we oh, get close? My uh, here. Now i got to figure out how to get my <laughs> hand up there. Ah! Here, I'll put it with you. There. Well, it looks You the still same. can't see. Okay. So I need mine. Let me trade. This is fun. You get to see us struggle. Okay? <laughs> this and is I, a daily thing. Please. Yes. Okay. So my needle is probably no more than like an inch. And Nancy's needle is probably... You know what? I have a ruler. I an inch and a half to two inches. Yeah. But um, that's the difference, is just that the petite needles are shorter. Um, they have the same size eye. eyes. Um, this is probably... Your eye is much bigger than my eye. Mine, this, I gotta tell you on this petite needle, these are long eyes. But this is probably a 26 or a 28. Well, and see, mine's, both. A, mine's a 26, so that's probably why they're about the same. And I did have one of you lovely stitchers tell me that, remind me that Mary Arden um, petite needles are available through 123 Stitch. So oh, thank nice. you very much, and nice. I just need to make sure that I order and get some. <laughs> and then... <sighs> Judy Hall, you are wonderful. Wow. We love this. <laughs> Judy was watching our shop video where we took you on a tour through CC and Company. Uh -huh. And she said, okay, now this is hysterical. Don't go to the 545 timestamp. I'm hearing that y'all are trying to be really quick. And the very large word on one of the booklets is quick. quick. Thanks for the tour, ladies. <laughs> Fun. So here's the funny part about that. Nancy and I struggled to oh get to gosh. that 545. And every time we would get there and let it play, it would go whoop, yeah. right past us. Yeah. yeah. So we, we so tried we over and over. Found it. Finally yes. found it. And it's so funny because it does just work right even with what we're saying. And I, I say something like, I'm just trying to be really quick. Yes. And then we turn up, I mean, we just move a hair and it's, it's pretty good size. Yeah. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> so those are our shout outs and questions for the week. Okay. So, Miss Nancy, do you have some finishes? I have a finish. i got to put this back in here so I don't lose it. Oh, yeah. I had stitched up these little pin cushions. I don't know when. I mean, I don't even have dates on them, but a year or two, three ago. And here's my first one. I don't even remember who these are by. Do you remember who they're by? This one, I believe, is by Chessie and Me. Chessie and Me. So I finished her all up on my um, check fabric. I added this little button down here because it was looks like it's a yarn ball to me, <laughs> that kitty. And then we found this really cute fabric at um, Joann's. Joann's the other weekend. It's all kitty cats on the back. I just had to use it on this one. <laughs> so that was one finish. And then my lovely sister gave me this pattern. Courtesy of Debbie Dewey. Oh! Thank you, Debbie. I know mm -hmm. Debbie, too. Debbie went to um, Stitch Retreats in Tulsa, and they gave a lot of small kits oh, of things to do. So okay. this is, I, I can't tell you who it's by, but it's a freebie pattern. And it says, I love gardens. Which, which I do. And it's got all these little rose heads up here, these buttons, and then a little pair of gloves. 
So I put it on my barnwood fabric, which I thought kind of went really well. It's really so, pretty. Those are my two finishes. Okay. What we, about you? <laughs> well, these, I have a couple that are actually finishes from last year, but I couldn't show. No. So um, the header on our group on Facebook that we hosted the retreat for, um, we used to meet out at in Topeka at the Sunflower Seed, and we loved Anita's shop so much. And when we decided to host a retreat, this kind of fit our theme. Mm -hmm. So I got busy and stitched it? this. Yep. And it's her pattern, Friends Gather Here. And um, I stitched it on this crazy fabric from, I believe this one is from Pole Stitches. It's beautiful. If you ever get fabric from them, it smells so good in the bag. <laughs> I just kept... <laughs> But also, I should show you, I found this fabric in my stash. Perfect. Isn't that pretty to back this? It's so really beautiful. That's one. And then, uh, this is temporarily mounted, so please don't judge my, my framing on here. It's no coming judging. out. <laughs> it's coming out. It's going to be priscillified, and yeah, it'll be okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was, we talked about it, and decided that I would design a pattern for the cross borders ladies and this is my piece I think it turned out absolutely beautiful and it's you can if I turn it a little I think you can see the white stitches too um, it is made up of a whole lot I was going to use a different euphemism <laughs> of um, specialty stitches and you know some fun loopy things and um, anyway, it just, it was fun to design. It was a good challenge yeah. and something and I really liked. We presented that design to everyone at our retreat in a fun folder like this. They're all, were all different colors and patterns. And then, um, we had a book that shows all the specialty stitches and how they did them and talked about why Laura wanted to do this stitcher stitcher <laughs> sampler. <laughs> sampler but here's a page of the stitches so you can see and then we had our very good friend Mariana Mater in uh, Switzerland mm -hmm. did our um, pattern pattern for us and she did a lovely job and I yeah. you know we were going to use a hand-drawn chart and she said Oh, that would be easy. I can just run that through. I'll have it done in no time. Oh, I can do that. And it was how long before? A week before? Yes. It yes. was It was just about a week before the retreat. Yeah. So she really saved us. She did. And we definitely she appreciated it. She made us look it. more professional. <laughs> <laughs> and we needed that, let yes, me tell you. Yes, we did. <laughs> Speaking of retreat things, do you want to show our, our fun retreat things? The pink cushion? You want to show the things oh, in our oh okay so oh. we had giveaways galore and we thank all of our vendors who helped us out with that oh my goodness yes they were fabulous but um we started the weekend with this bag which we got from cc's and she gave it's us it's beautiful. really cool she gave us a luggage tag a on luggage it. luggage tag. My daughter, Katie, designed our um, logo for us. Uh -huh. Isn't it pretty? And then we got to fill it up with all of our uh, freebies and things that we got from all our vendors. We had vendors who wonderful. sent us enough wonderful. patterns for every single person there. Yes, which was just amazing. You know, I couldn't believe the response that we got. It was, it really was. Um, yeah. It was overwhelming a little bit. And I know you, I don't know if you can see this, but we even did shirts mm -hmm. with our logos. So everybody we have some little them. ones and some, some big, big ones. ones. Yeah. Um, but then <laughs> we started out Saturday morning with a surprise, and we had folded these little tea caddies. Tea caddies so it holds a cut, um, tea bag on each side, and then we made a little fairy. She's a little different for each person, and we made twenty-five of these mm -hmm. little things. <sighs> Never again. 
They're so cute and they are so fun. But oh my goodness where they work. But we just loved them. And they were a huge, huge hit. And you wanted to talk about the... Oh, part. yes. Um, I'm going to take her off so you can see And you have to move the yeah. string a little. We have, on these, we tied on a little silver heart. And we have challenged each of our stitchers that was at the retreat to use this heart on something throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And then bring it back and show us what they did with it next year. Mm -hmm. They were all tickled about that. I think they really thought that was going to be something cool. They are gonna. They decided to keep it a surprise. They so were, nobody's showing. So we have a year, a year of to secrets wait. to wait. Yes. <laughs> and we thought it was bad with just a few months. Yes. And then we also did a... Oh, you want to do that first? No, we can do your, that. That's fine. We did a pin cushion exchange. We ask everyone who is coming to bring a pin cushion. And mine came from Vicki Seely. And look at this. Isn't it beautiful? I just love that. Look at her finishing. It is so, so cute. She did such a cute job. And it's got a little heart button here. And then, oops, here, <laughs> and then two little stars. Really sweet. I love it. So Thank you, cute. Vicki. Yes. And then I chose one from, um, you know, it was it's a random drawing, but I got mine from Pam Lacey. I've never seen anything like this. Isn't this adorable? It's got little crystals all the way around the edge. She wrapped the bow in silk, or the handle in silk with a cute little bow on the side. And then look at that pin cushion. Isn't that cute? She put a little pin on it and then the little uh, round-headed pins too. I just loved that. That's so clever. It's so fun because Nancy and I were the last two to get our pin cushions. And I picked up both packages and I held them out to her. And she picked the one she wanted. Yeah. And we each really love what we got. Yes, it really fits. It's it not so... that I wouldn't have loved that. That's no. beautiful. But it, that is so Nancy. I just, yeah, I just love it. And it sits in a place of honor in my living room. Mm -hmm. So then the other thing that we did that was just kind of a fun thing. Um, trying to get them in It here. seems like sometimes there is, oh, are you going to show those? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we, we made um, pin, pins during the weekend for our pin cushions. Can you see them in there? And those are the ones that Nancy made. Well, somebody made me one of these. Oh. I don't know who that somebody was. <laughs> I think it was this one, wasn't it? That you oh, made? Yeah. My sister. <laughs> so they were really fun. Katie, Laura's daughter my niece, manned the station for us and helped everybody make these pins and mm -hmm. was really so helpful to do that. And I think everybody enjoyed it. I do time. too, because people kept coming back. We had extra supplies. Uh, in fact, we had a group of quilters come from the yes. other building. And my daughter said that when they came through, they all wanted to stop and make pins too. <laughs> Well, we had plenty, but, you know, time was running out. <laughs> right, there, and so. we weren't quite sure if we had enough at that point right. because we hadn't even started. Right. So we hadn't really started with it. Then we did a silly thing. Um, we know that people can just get mean and snarky to each other. It's and be loud. Oh, and we wanted it to be... We wanted to knock that out right from the beginning. So we made a game of it. And we found this lovely lady who joined our retreat. And if she ended up at your spot, it was a warning that you needed to control yourself. To slow your roll. Yeah. So this is our little friend. Maleficent. Maleficent. <laughs> Isn't she cute? And at the end... Uh, the lady who had her at the very end, Debbie Dewey, ended up with a big black feather to uh. remind her of how wicked she was during the weekend. <laughs> it was cute. So it was cute, a cute, fun cute. thing. It was fun, so. and the ladies took it in good humor, mm -hmm. which was nice. So, But 
It did have a significance. Yes. And uh, Phyllis, thank you for letting us pick on you yeah. to start off. We knew that you would be a good sport about it and that you would take it in the spirit in which it was intended. Yes. So thank you. We didn't ask you ahead of time, but we did appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I think that's that's about all of our extra. Oh, we got some. Oh, you wanted to show the, the little gift that we got. Yeah. I didn't bring mine, so Nancy's showing for both of us. So, totally unexpected, but when um, the ladies walked in, we had two ladies give us gifts. So, this is what mine came in. The first, isn't it cute? I love, I love <laughs> polka dots. And inside it was this um, beautiful little cup that she got for me. And Laura got one that has a, an L on it. And then she made us... These little pin, um, coasters, and they're all Paris inspired, which is one of the things that I love. And then on the back, isn't that cute? <laughs> they are so, so cute. pretty. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, thank you, Pam. And then I got her pin cushion. Wasn't it <laughs> fun? And then we had another lady bring us in um, these cute little cards and wrote us a very sweet note inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave us a skein of floss. This is, go ahead. Go ahead. This is the Thread Gatherers Silk and Colors Dark Forest. And I have to tell you that my sister loves me because hers actually had purple in it and she traded me. Which I like purple, but I know she loves it. <laughs> Let's show these cute little bags. And inside it is the prettiest little fob. Mm -hmm. So, and she did this part perfect because mine was blue and Lara's was more purpley, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, isn't it cute? I'll get that out and put that on my scissors, scissors right away. They were really, really sweet. So, that was from Denise. And thank you, Denise. Thank you, Denise. So sorry you didn't get to stay yes, for the whole weekend. We missed you. But, we did. But, but we understood. Absolutely. So, okay. okay. Is that all we want to show for think, the retreat right now? I think. Sorry we huh. took a detour there. Woo! But, you know, we wanted to share with you guys since we had talked about it before. Oh, you know what? I was not finished with my finishes. Oh, okay. That's so funny. We really did. But we, you know, it kind of went naturally. We went into that retreat stuff and... Just right, talked about all of that. There. You have it? Okay, so. Whew. Whew. This week I was feeling productive. And these are going to go in that one. And I had Sorry, this I thought that one. was mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had this one, Brown Bunny Run by Erica Michaels. And I chose to use a piece of... Nancy Turner's beautiful blue linen. I think this is a 32 count. And I finished it this week. Yay! Look at those swirlies at the bottom. I just, I love this. I love this. How pretty. And I'm planning to stitch, um, there's another one on the front, and it just says hippity hoppity across the, the whole Do thing. Do you want it? Do you want to show it? I think it's, I mean, oh, it's on the back. Okay. So it's this one. And it's those cute little bunnies. And guess what? I have enough of this blue fabric left to do it on. Oh, my goodness. So I will have hippity hoppity. Perfect and planning. It's um some brighter colors, so it'll be fun. Then the other one. Whew, here's why I'm off. Because of this. Now, this is um, Magic Garden Sampler from Shakespeare's Peddler. Uh, that's Teresa Vanette Kitten Stitcher. And I have been in love with this pattern. This goes in there also. Mm -hmm. I have been in love with this pattern. And last night, I don't know what the deal was, but I just got determined. And so, she never does. And so I finished it. <laughs> I was up until after 3 o'clock in the oh morning. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So here it is. And this is Nancy Turner's linen also. You can't tell, but there's... A little bit of pink here and there in it really pretty and it's 40 count fabric um, which I think made this pattern just look adorable 
I just love this. So. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, the last I saw it, she was just getting the thistle heads in here. <laughs> I, wow. Oh, look at the sweet roses up there. And look at the black flowers. Yeah. It's, and you almost think it's going to be too much, but it balances it out does. the chicken. chicken. Somebody in our comments said... Um, it's definitely a chicken. I can't think. They said it's a chicken bird. <laughs> I think that bird is a black chicken bird. I love that. <laughs> so I think we're all in agreement. Somebody else told me they thought it was an Australorp. Yes. And we looked them up, and, and maybe. I mean, it they didn't be. have little crowns like that, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So that was that. So that's the end of my finishes. Okay. Do you have whips, dear Nancy, dear Nancy? Well, I have, yes. I can take that. Um, I started on that sheep thing, that sheep design, but honestly, at the retreat, we did. I didn't have time to stitch at all. I didn't stitch much. So I started on Sheep on the Meadow. So that's this piece again by Cedar Hill. And I got a whole bunch done. Does it have 30 stitches? Oh, it, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. For a whole weekend of stitching, this is Nancy's that's progress. That's what I did. Pretty sad, but that's what I did. <laughs> but that's what happens when you're hosting a retreat. Yeah, and, you know, we were, we were being hostesses. We mm -hmm. were wanting to make sure everybody was comfortable, having a good time. And we were up and down yes. and back and forth. And we had so. things to give away. Mm -hmm. and Don't then, let those go too far because you're going to want to show those later too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have to dig that back out. Um, then this week, this is what I'm working on. Ooh. So I like it already. Oh, I love this. Yeah, Nancy talked about this, that she was going to start. And sampler from Threadwork Primitives. So here is what I've got done this week. That is so pretty. Not much. And then when I moved down here to do this green stem, I discovered that I did these in the wrong color. <gasps> no. Yeah. Oh well. It, it looks green on here to me. Uh huh. But then see how green this is? Oh. That's brown. I guess it isn't anymore. No. It's not. <laughs> Unless I get Isn't industri anybody going to be picking that stuff out? Unless I get industrious. <laughs> so we'll see. I doubt it, but we'll see. Unless she talks her sister into it. Oh, no. I would never do that. No. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, oh. so I am going to show you um, my current whip in our current projects and stitching plans later on. Oh, I should have done that too. That's okay. Sorry. So I uh, have some more. Yeah, I, I just get her out, you know, all <laughs> flummoxed. These all end up going in this bag if you don't oh, want it. Oh, they want my tea. Uh oh. Yes, so I, I have. Um, more What's of this? my whip parade. That one doesn't have anything started. Okay, well, you keep talking and I'll just look. <laughs> There's a piece of fabric in there, too. Cute. Because uh, this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now she said that. You guys want to see, right? <laughs> Show them what I mean. Okay. So I haven't started this, but it's Pumpkins 3 for the... From uh, For My Boys, and the fabric I have is this really cute check. And so it's, um, oops, get it stuck in there. It's this one down here that I have that for. But I like all of the pumpkins. They're, They're cute. really cute. They're cute. Ooh, and I found a, uh, this made me think, I found a piece of purple check in my stash this week. Nice! Now I have nice. to figure out what pattern that was because I don't think I bought it. Yeah. We've been looking for purple uh, check for Laura for a long time because she likes my pink check that I've been using on different fabric or different projects. Although I have to tell you, the purple check is purple and like a dark gray. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah, it's very it's much dark. darker. It's dark. So, okay. So this bag is full of a bunch of Halloween stuff. Uh -huh. So this first one is Ichabod Seabury from the Primitive Needle. This is what it looks like. And um, I didn't look to see what fabric it called for. However, I am stitching mine 
on Swamp from Picture This Plus. Look at that. You gotta love that. And name. it's tiny. It's like it's 36 or 40 count and it's very tight. And it has taken me a long time. Oh, and okay, so you can see down here where I have started filling in behind it. That has to be filled in behind all of the words. Oh my goodness. So this is definitely a long-term project. Okay. And it's not filled in a straight line. It's filled in by the word. So it, it will get there. It will make it really cute, but it's a, it's a job. Yeah. So next I have Perfect Pumpkin from Heart in Hand. This is an old chart. And in fact, um, I started this a long, long time ago, and I think that I have scavenged some of the floss out of here. Uh, so, never do that. Yeah. Never, ever. So I'm, I'm going to have different colors, which really won't matter no. because my little pumpkins that I have stitched are all finished. Well, no, 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 I'm lying to you. This one is not finished. So hopefully I can find the one. Maybe that floss is still in there. Hopefully I can find the one that will make it work. It's from 2001, it says. The pattern? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know when I started it, but I've had it a while. So the next one I have, and don't be fishing stuff out of here, because then I have to show things I haven't started. <laughs> and then they're not whips. Does she know? Woo! Does she know? <laughs> so the next one is called Something Wicked by Lottie Da. My sister would like for me to hurry up and finish this because she really likes these. But I am stitching mine on a 40 count fabric again. This is Relic Newcastle 40 mm. count from Picture This Plus. And I did like go on a, a binge and I got a whole bunch of the outline. I decided this filling it in row by row was too slow. And so I just went ahead and stopped filling things in and started getting the outline so that I could go back and fill it in without looking. Sorry, I was so, peeking. She is. She is so bad. Where is Maleficent when I need her? <laughs> but I've got a couple of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next one I have is, um, there are going to be two patterns going in this one, okay? So this is done? Nope. Or? Okay, uh, but I'm going to set it down okay. for a minute. This one is from Stacy St Stacy Nash Primitives. New name. And it's called Halloween Jack Sewing Roll. And it's kind of a dark picture. And I, of course, did not pull it out of here. But that's what it is. And I really like this. And I've gotten... Oh, look, there's my floss for it. Yeah. I've gotten quite a bit done. I mean, am I even... There we go. So... Oh, yeah. I remember you working on that. It's, it's really, really cool. cool. Mm -hmm. um, I think... I don't know if I finished over here, but I think I've moved into this. And again, I think I chose some teeny tiny little fabric. And I need to pull out some of these teeny tiny little fabrics to make things work. So that I can actually get them done. Um, this next one just makes me laugh every time I look at it. This one's called Jumping Cat from Dames of the Needle Finger Work. And, um, oh, I have some pretty stuff. Okay. So, this is the pattern. And those stars are really cute all over it. But I went and looked. I don't know if they'll move around enough. I went and looked and bought some cute little buttons and a rusty star. and Those are going to make it so cute. Some really fun stuff. There is some sort of critter in there, and I can't get it to move enough to figure it out. Oh, it looks like a dragonfly. Yeah. And I don't know if the dragonfly is even for this piece. It's probably for another one that I already <laughs> finished. But And didn't know where the dragonfly was. Yeah. So remember, jumping cat... Now, this is when I had discovered um, Nancy Turner's floss. Uh, the fabric I have is a 28 count Cashel Solo from Silk Weaver. And I have this much done. But look at those threads because they are Nancy Turner threads. That orange, look at the, the saturation in that orange. It is just beautiful. Love that. 
And again, Nancy Turner is Victorian oh. Motto. Um, yeah. Uh, Victorian our... Motto Sampler Shop. Sampler Shop. Oh. Then, well, this is lovely, but I, oh, there. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> you thought you'd lose it? Don't be peeking in this bag again now. Oh, then I have <laughs> Halloween. These all go in that bag. In the big bag. Yep. Okay. I didn't think they could go in that little bitty bag I was using. <laughs> so the next one I have is Halloween Eve by Blackbird Designs. And, one of my favorites. Um, you know what? A lot of you have commented about how we change um, fabrics and um, floss. Well, here's what I do. I go to my to my stash and I look and see if I have the colors that it has called for. Yeah. And if I do, great. I pull them out and for the most part I use them. However, I was missing several of the pumpkin colors on this. So again, hello Nancy Turner. And there is what I have. I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of that and I'm I'm ready to move up. Love that bird. That bird is he's gorgeous. Wow. And you know, purple is not my color to stitch Halloween on, but for all of your stuff, it looks great. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is a 28 count cashel linen from um, Silk Weaver. Weaver, and it is purple fabric. I don't know if it showed purple. Oh, it does back here. Yeah. But it is purple fabric, and it's yeah. I just it looks kept really thinking, good. wow. It would be cool. Yeah, and I love that cat, <laughs> that arched back and the mm -hmm. crazy legs. Yeah. Really, really cute. And, and then the border at the bottom is so yeah. frilly and feminine. Yeah. It's like, I love the, the juxtaposition of the Same word I was thinking of. GMTA. Uh, the next one that I have, <laughs> my sister actually bought this and then decided that it was just really more me than her. And so I do that sometimes on these things. These yeah. um, this was a mystery, mystery sampler, sampler club from Lizzie Kate. So it is very scary. And this is the final pattern where you can see all of the pieces. And oh, do I think it's adorable! It and is. <laughs> it is. It's just I just knew it was something I would not get stitched. And I have this piece of fabric. It is a silk weaver piece of fabric, and this is kind of an odd one for me because I've parked floss all over because I know that it continues down into the next part, so it was throwing me a little. But look at this great fabric, and even if I open it up, you can see it has... Look at the big blue spot here, teal blue. And of course, I won't get over there, but you but know, it's, fun. Oh, it's really cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. Um, and actually, I think that's it for oh, my look. lips then. Those oh, his eyes. little eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the first pattern finished. So I just have the other two to go. Two and more. really, it's stitched up so fast. And I just need to do it. But I have so many things that how do I ever find time? Oh, I know. You know, and it's... You feel like you're working along and you're doing really well. And then you look at your stack and you're like... Oh. Okay, I watched um, The Stash Queen, Katie Agruso, and um, she was talking about how she does hers, and if it's a project for the week, she gives them 18 minutes a piece, a project for the day, she gives them 18 minutes a piece. Oh my. And if they're in another category, then they get an additional 30 minutes. So... Um, that works for her. She likes visiting all of her projects. I feel like I don't get anything done. Sometimes it takes yeah. me 18 minutes to figure out what I'm doing. I think that would make me buggy. You know, trying to watch, get it done and watch the time. And mm -hmm. I, But she I'm says... Just not that regimented. And she said that she tried doing fewer projects and that she just stopped stitching. So, you know, we all it's have to what do works what works. <laughs> So, but yes, I think I would go nuts. Um, after we end this video, I plan to show my sister what I have planned to stitch for the Stitch Mania May starts. And um, my husband likes them already. And Ooh. I have to kit up some of these things. But I'll show Nancy and, and explain to her what Stitch Mania means. And then she will think that I am crazy too. Yeah.
So. Yeah, I'm sure I will, because you've kind of talked about it a little bit. Yeah. So that was part three of my whips. Um, I have another big bag already stashed here at Nancy's for next week, and we will pull those out next week and do that. I may start going through them while she's gone. <laughs> Stitch on them, will you? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, then we're to our stash and haul. Okay, well, my stash didn't come in, so I don't have that order. But, um, and I'm not going to go through all of those no, patterns all. that we got. But we would love to show you all of the patterns that were donated, but it's... It would take a long time. Um, longer than my whip parade. Yeah. I bought two bags this week while we were at retreat. Compliments of Judy Starkey. And I, I, I just love it. Because first I have this one. Isn't that gorgeous, that fabric? front and back and it's got a little padding on it velcro and look at that blue isn't that pretty it's such a nancy bag it's, <laughs> i just love that and it's the right size it's a smaller size for me that i tend to go that way and then i got thank this you one, Laura. <laughs> this one was hiding um we had been to the table two or three times and oh, looked yeah. at these. Oh, yeah. And neither of us had seen them. Mm -mm. So when enough people bought some, it came to the surface. And Laura said, hey, Nancy, did you see this one? Look at that. It's bumblebees. Isn't that cute? I just love that. And inside is, um, oh, my goodness, it's coming off. Let me stitch it down again. Is this pretty yellow. Just honey colored, yeah, so pretty. Which is like a. And what does it say all over here? Oh, bumblebee mm -hmm. all over this. Yeah. The stitching came on down. I'll oh. have to get that done. Um, you know the cute frog bag. Judy donated the yes. cutest bag to our. She let us pick what we wanted, and she donated a bag that had frogs on it. And so Nancy How and I... How appropriate for cross-stitchers, mm, right? So Nancy and I <laughs> stuffed that bag with um, a really cool um, double, hoop. What am I, double hoop from DMC. And then it had all sorts of green flosses uh -huh. that had all been donated. Yeah, and then we got a little frog wax, floss Thread waxer. waxer. And uh, put that in there. Do so you remember who you ordered that from? I don't right offhand. We would have to I look at it again, but up. oh, it's cute. But I have been thinking and thinking and thinking about that bag. Judy's going to make me one. Oh, my gosh. She has the material at home. <laughs> uh, Nancy and I are going on Too funny. March 17th. We will be away from the camera, mm -hmm. and we will be headed to McPherson. Maybe we can find a, a space down there where we can <laughs> shoot a short video and... Just do a little bit of stuff with you and show you what we have. Um, while we're talking about Judy's bags, compliments of Vana Pfeiffer's tutorial, by yes, the way. Yes, yes. Um, I bought this one. That is so sweet. This is why Brown Bunny Run got finished, because Brown Bunny Run went in way. with the brown bunnies. And look at this. It's purple with little <laughs> white polka dots. It's so cute. It is the cutest thing. And then I also bought this one. I kept looking and looking and looking at this. Um, and now you see why her pin cushion was perfect for her, too. Yeah. And inside, <clears throat> it has this great star fabric. That's really pretty. So um, I know that this would greatly appeal to Pam, Pam and Stephanie. Um, if you need one of these, Pam, then you should let me know and I'll hook you up with Miss Judy and she'll make you one <laughs> for a reasonable cost. Very so, reasonable. And they're just wonderful. They're padded. They're That's what I like, that they are padded because I have, you know, the um, needle minders, mm -hmm. the ceramic ones. I've laid mine down in those in the plastic zip bags, which is really all we've ever used. Mm hmm and it broke in half. Oh. So I know with this little tiny bit of padding, it will help, you know, cushion that. Mm -hmm. And we carry everything in these project <clears throat> bags. I mean, yes. when it's kitted up, our scissors are in there and our needles and everything yeah. else. So Yeah. Glasses. <laughs> oh, we didn't talk about that. Do you have your glasses in here? No, we okay. did on our last video. 
Okay, I also, one of the stitchers at the retreat had done this, and I just absolutely loved it. And she came over and said, would you like this pattern? <laughs> so thank you, Marsha. Yes, I will <laughs> like this pattern. It's called A Little Coffee from Lizzie Kate. It's really cute. I just love it. She I can't wait it, to do it. She did it as her Stitcher showcase piece, and it was adorable. Mm. And I think that maybe I will stitch this as a pin cushion for Katie. Oh, that be Because she is the coffee, coffee, coffee girl. That'll be fun. And the other course, thing... Now she knows, because you told her. Yeah, no, she won't watch us. Oh. <laughs> She's too busy with the books. Well, yeah. Um, the other one that I bought, um, I think I was enabled through Floss Tube. And somebody is doing, like, the months from the Cricut collection. But I saw this love and really, really fell in love with it. Um, so this one is called Love and Carrots from the Cross-Eyed Cricut. Now, I am not a backwards L stitcher. So on the back, it shows me how to turn that L around and make it the right way. And what I loved is that I read Good. it. Good, huh. because that was making me crazy there a bit. Well, I read her story inside, and she said um, she was pleased with the balance of the design. I passed it on to the stitcher. No one called the backwards L to my attention, thinking that I meant it to be just that way. Actually, when I finally realized the anomaly, it began to grow on me. And so I decided that love, being as crazy as it is, should indeed have a backwards L. For those of you who do not have a penchant for things odd, which odd doesn't bother me, but <laughs> yeah. in this case, I have included an alternate graph on the back cover. So I will be stitching that with the L going the right way. And also a look at that carrot. <laughs> Love that. So I'll be stitching that That's as really well. That's really cute. But the colors in this love really appeal <clears throat> to me. Yes, I've seen that um, on Pinterest, I think. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gorgeous. So that brings us to current projects and stitching plans. You kind of already showed yours, Yeah, right? I'm going to keep working on the um, alphabet, Anne's, Anne's alphabet. Are you going to work on both? Is one going to work? or? Mm -mm. Nancy really is kind of a one at a time. Um, I try to expand, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> So, I have had this in my stash for a while. That's pretty. This is from Just Nan, and it's called Tuscan Sunrise. And this was my uh, February start for Stitch Mania on the 18th. And, oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it took forever to fill in the gold behind Good Morning. <laughs> Everything takes much longer on this piece than I think it will. And I really like it. Well, it's amazing how when you have um, a solid area like that, looks very small, looks very easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll whip that right out. <coughs> <coughs> and then it also has this really cool... Are you, are you going to die there, Nancy? I think so. Um, it has this really cool rooster charm that will actually sit... Right here. Cute. By good. So it's really, really cute. I cute, love cute, this cute. thing. And oh, I will and continue. Colored, too. Yes, he's beautiful. I mean, that's why I flipped it out of there so we could see it. Somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Any he's pretty? gorgeous. I like roosters. Okay, and then Michelle Bindi Stitchy said that she and I think she and some friends are going to stitch Quaker Garden from Blackbird Designs. And I thought... I have that in my stash. I love this. I've wanted to do this forever. So guess what? Thanks, Michelle. You're a great excuse. <laughs> I will be starting this probably this week. <coughs> probably I'm sorry. this week. I found it called for 30 count um oh where is it? 30 count Garden State Java fabric and to me I don't know if, if the fabric really is this color huh. but to me it looks a little blue greenish yeah. so I have this piece of R&R &R fabric called hog wild blue <laughs> and it's 30 count <laughs> and I've got it doubled I don't know I mean I think it probably just looks brown to you can you see the green the green there when I put that on it the blue green 
And, and I think as you get closer, it just washes it out. Yeah. But it's, but it's really pretty. cool. Really And pretty. then um, it only calls for five colors. Really? Yeah. And they're all week dye works. And I'm like, oh, I've got those. I know I have those. <laughs> I had the floss queen. I had two. <laughs> two? That's I had <laughs> caper and palomino. I think the, I know that red pear is in another project. Um, what are the other ones? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh I mean, a dolphin. Dolphin is in another project, and so is Shaker White. So I had those two. (laughs) So I found uh, my new... Okay, so I chose this tea rose from... um, Gast. From Gast, yeah, Gentle Arts, that I'm going to use. It changes enough for me that I think it'll be pretty Mm -hmm. as the little flowers. And then, you know, my new go-to is, well, if I don't have it... I use Nancy Turner's uh, floss, so I found these two. I needed a blue that was kind of gray, Uh and I think that'll work. And then I just needed a a good white. This one's called My Favorite Peony, and that's what I'm going to use for the white in it. Very pretty. That's going to turn out really pretty. So that will be... You know, I had two finishes (laughs) this week. Um, I think I can start another you know start all the things so I think I'm starting that and this came out it was part of the loose feathers club this 2006 on that oh okay so it came out in 2006 and I have had it that long thinking oh I need to get it into my rotation I need to work on it it's really pretty I don't remember seeing that Mm -hmm. one so I'm done and Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> I will start showing progress. And, and and I don't think it's all that big. It's 210 wide by 90 high. So, so not... What does it say here? It's not terrible. Sample size, it's picture 14 by 16. Mm-hmm. So 14 by 6, yeah. Oh, 6. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I have my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And, and I like it. I mean, it's... It's cute. Gardeny, springy, butterflies. I love the birds. I love the butterfly. I mm-hmm. love all the flowers. It's very much. Love it. It's very much an us kind of a pattern. Mm-hmm. So I'll have to figure out where I'm starting on it. But by golly, I am starting it this week. <laughs> so is you already it? told us your stitching plans. Yep. I think that is it for us. Okay. Um, you made me think of something a minute ago, but I can't. I can't remember Lost what it is it now. Yes just gone so we are a little animated today it feels like and i think we are probably up over an hour right so we are going to stop this one for now so she's nancy and she's laura and And we we are are the the addicted Addicted Sisters. sisters and we'll see you next week bye 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 bye